Hey everyone and welcome to my Primark haul. This haul has been so overdue. If you watched my previous Primark hauls, you would have known that I was doing them kind of monthly. So to go three months without having Primark to go to and escape to, um, yeah. I'm very happy that the doors have reopened. So I thought I got a lot, but Price-wise, it didn't work out too bad. I've got a rather big bag here. <laughs> Let me show you the first item. So, first item on top of my bag is this little, I would say it's a crop top. It's a ribbed uh, halter neck crop top. So, I got this in a size 12 to 14 because they didn't have a 10 to 12. And I find this with a lot of the stuff that I got in today's haul that they didn't have a 10 to 12 so I opted for the um they didn't have a 10 to 12 so I opted for the 12 to 14 looking at it it doesn't actually look like a crop top does it but I don't know if that's because it's in a bigger size um but we shall see when I try it on how it looks on me I am five foot three just for reference so again like I said it's just a basic top. It's nothing special, but you know, we all love a bit of basic. And then the next item that I picked up, I have actually worn already, I need washing, but they are just these gym shorts and took the tag off now but i think they were like four pounds which is great because i was i've been looking for gym wear because i've started doing like little morning workouts i don't want to pay a fortune for gym wear i just want something like because i'm not going out in it i'm not going to a gym i'm literally just working out in my living room so i just wanted something cheap and these are really really good material for primark i don't know if they're squat proof i'm not going to try them on because like I said, I have worked out in them. It's what they look like. I think they had them in different colours as well. They had a black, I think. These are just like a grey. Okay, so next up is this gorgeous bodysuit. Now, this really kind of jumped out to me. It was the sleeves that caught my eye. Yeah, so just a plain white, simple bodysuit. But then you've got these puffy sleeves that kind of like make it a bit more, you know. They jazz it up a bit. So... Yeah, I really, really like this. I hope it looks nice on. I got this in a size 10 to 12 and it was eight pounds. Oh, I didn't mention how much that um, first item was. The first item was three pounds, that white crop top. Ryan Little. <laughs> So this caught my eye because it just looked so comfy and I don't know about you but I just love sleeping in loose baggy t-shirts and like as you can see I've got this in an XL, this is an 18 to 20 so this is going to be very oversized for me but it's really soft and it just looked so comfy to sleep in so I thought yeah okay I'll have you. It says bonjour mon amour, I don't know what that means but um yeah this just jumped out to me because it just looks so comfy and flowy and these things are just perfect for the summer you can even wear this out this is not this doesn't have to be a bed t-shirt you could dress this could be a dress with some sandals like a casual dress t-shirt dress and this was six pounds Another gym item, now unfortunately I did try this on this morning before I worked out because I was going to wear it with the shorts, but this is too big for me. I got this in a size 12 to 14 only because they didn't have a 10 to 12 
and unfortunately it just doesn't fit how I wanted it to fit so I um, I will be returning this and maybe picking up a smaller size if they have one but yeah it's just a basic sports t-shirt it's cropped as well it was four pounds so you can't go wrong okay so I don't actually think I own any jeans from Primark no, I don't think I do. I think that's only because of the sizing. So the only jeans that really fit me nicely, I would say are Topshop. And you know they are very expensive. So I probably have the same pair of jeans for quite a few years now. Yeah, I saw these because I've, I've had my eye on a grey pair of jeans for a while. And I saw these and I thought, okay, I'll give them a go. So they're like these grey, would you say they're like acid wash? I don't know. I'm really bad with like descriptions. So yeah, I'm just going to say these grey jeans. So these grey skinny jeans and I picked them up in a size 14. Now the leg is 30, which is me. So they should fit me leg wise, but I don't know if they're going to fit me around my gut. So I've got them in a 14 and these were £10 so I thought uh, let me just try. So yeah hopefully they fit me nicely and I've bagged myself a nice pair of grey jeans. Okay, another little basic. Now this is another bodysuit. This is a black ribbed bodysuit with these kind of spaghetti straps. And it kind of is a bit of a low back. Not very low, but you can see there. But yeah, I thought this was quite cute. You could pair this with quite a few things. So I got this in a size 10 to 12. They had my size and it was only five pounds. Like these basic things are so, so cheap. They're hard to not pick up. Something very similar here. So this one is just a crop top. This isn't a bodysuit, but it still has the spaghetti straps. So yeah, I thought this was quite cute. I think they might have had this in a black as well, but I picked it up in like this nude color because I thought this would be quite different. Don't really have many things in this color. And this was three pounds. And I also got this in a 10 to 12. Okay, so I've had my eye on a long maxi cardigan for the longest time. I did look on House of CB to look at the um, really nice long thick one that they have on there. I know that a few YouTubers wear it that I watch and it's just stunning, but it's about 50, 60 quid and I was like, oh, I don't know if I can justify paying that for a cardigan. So I've not gone through with it yet i've decided to go with a primark one now obviously the quality is not going to be the same but i'm not really a cardigan girl so i thought it would be best to kind of try something cheap before paying a lot of money for one so i picked up this beige ribbed one now this is quite long on me as you will see on the try on clip but um I got it in a size 14 to 16 because I wanted it to be kind of like oversized and slouchy. I'm just going to see how this goes and see if I like the style because as I said I'm not a cardigan kind of girl so I might find that they don't really suit me.
guess what? Another little basic. So this is another bodysuit. Now this one has a quite a low front, I would say. Um, it's ribbed. It's kind of like a low scooped back. Sorry, I don't know if you can see the lighting. It's hard sometimes to show black items with the lighting, but um, yeah, I thought this was quite cute. Again, you can wear this with absolutely anything. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. And I got this in a size small which is 10 to 12 and it was six pounds Now this is super cute. This caught my eye because it had this little red tag on it. <laughs> and I thought, hmm, it's reduced. So it was 10 pounds, which is still so, so cheap, but it was reduced down to five pounds. And I thought, this is cute. It's it's quite thick to, actually no, it's not that thick. I was holding the double, <laughs> um, double material there, but no it's not that thick but i thought this would just be cute to lounge around in again you could dress it up you could wear it with jeans black leather pants why did i say pants i never say pants trousers in the 12 to 14 because i don't i didn't want it too fitted i like my jumpers to be quite baggy and have a bit of you know giving them i don't like them to be quite tight so yeah i sized up with this and i've got a 12 to 14. Okay, so this is another little kind of lounge around. This is like super slouchy. I feel like I need more baggy t-shirts. I bought one from Pretty Little Thing not that long ago. It's just an oversized white tee. Was, I don't think it's oversized. I think I just got it in a bigger size because I just wanted something, just an oversized white t-shirt that wasn't Harry's. So I ordered myself one from PLT and I saw this one in Primark and I mean, this is very thin. It's almost see-through. So I don't know if I'm going to like this on. It is v-neck. And it's kind of like an off-white with like speckles in it. If I hold it close to the camera, you might be able to tell. But it's, um, yeah, it's like an off-white. It's not like a fresh white. Which is a shame, really, because I did want... It would have been nice if it was like a fresh white, but... Never mind, and I got it in the 10 to 12, which I probably should have sized up because I feel like this might be a bit too fitted for me to be like a baggy kind of t-shirt, but we shall see. And this was five pounds. Okay, so these really jumped out to me. These are some black cycle shorts with some white stripes down the leg. Now, they probably remind you of like Adidas because um, they did me. And yeah, I just thought these were quite cool actually. Um, and they were only five pounds. So the material feels quite thick. Hopefully it's not too see-through at the back. And then I found the same thing, kind of, in a legging. So these only have the one stripe down the leg. Oh, actually, yeah, they're leggings. Um, and they've got a tie waist. 
and these were only six pounds so i thought i would give these a go again i don't know if they're going to be see-through on, on the bun but we shall see got them in a 10 to 12 and they were six pounds so yeah, i can't go wrong with a pair of leggings and to be fair i had an adidas pair i've had them for i'd say a year and a half maybe two years and unfortunately the other day they ripped you know like in between the leg the seam was coming away and then i went to put my leg in on one day to wear them and they were like so i had to bend them unfortunately but yeah so they're like a cool little dupe i would say Okay, so we're near to the end now and I went to the underwear section and I picked up these ribbed bra and knickers. Now, I don't really wear underwire bras anymore. I just find them really uncomfortable. And when I saw these, I thought, wow, they look really, really comfy because they've got no underwire. Like, it's all soft and stretchy. So I thought, okay, I'll give these a go. I got them in a medium. I would have rather got a 10 to 12 but they didn't have any so again i had to opt for the 12 to 14 so hopefully they fit me but they were only five pounds for the set so i thought that was really good and then i picked up a black set as well however i've actually just realized that i put these up in a 14 to 16 which i don't know if they're gonna fit they might be a little bit too big and you can't return underwear so that's great for me well done okay and last but definitely not least i had to pick up some sandals i don't know if these have been in here for a while i think they might have been but these are the sandals that i picked up now tell me that these don't look like they're from zara come on okay so that is everything that i picked up in primark I'm so glad it's reopened. I really hope you enjoyed watching. If you want me to do some more Primark hauls and make them more of a frequent thing like I was doing before lockdown, then please like this video and don't forget to subscribe because then you'll get notified every time I upload one. And yeah, that is it. So thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video.